It's video you'll only see on six. Another state lawmaker arrested. Our CBS 6 cameras, the only ones rolling, when Assemblymember William Scarborough, a Democrat from Queens, headed out of court this morning in Albany. It was his first of two court appearances today. Scarborough now facing dozens of charges. He's accused of stealing money from taxpayers and from his own campaign account. There are two indictments, 23 state charges. I've got them right here. And 11 federal accounts. These are the two indictments. The state charges allege the theft of some $42,000 from his campaign account, money he's accused of using for his own personal purposes. The federal charges involve exactly what I reported exclusively earlier this year. The toll receipts Scarborough submitted with his per diem expense voucher showed that on a number of occasions, he would arrive at Albany well after midnight, stay for just a few waking hours, and put in for two days of per diems. He's accused of a lot of per diem theft in this indictment. Here now, Scarborough this morning after court appearance number one when he did not want to talk, and then Scarborough and his attorney after his visit to federal court. His attorney, by the way, says state officials don't understand the documents and the systems involved here. No. Did you, no. did you take any I campaign have nothing, money for your own purposes? No, I have nothing to say to you, sir. But did you take any money for your own purposes? Have a good day, guys. Have, Have a, a good day. day. We're confident that uh, someone never did anything that was intentionally wrong or fraudulent or sought to benefit himself. Uh, so if there were mistakes made, they were innocent mistakes. In 20 years in office, I have never asked anybody to do anything to benefit me personally. I have always tried to serve my community and try to help people with their problems. And I think over 20 years, that has been my record. Now, Scarborough says he did not actually fill out the expense forms. He says someone else did. I've got these expense forms, several years' worth of these vouchers. You can see his signature. It's right there underneath a bold line that says submission of fraudulent travel expense claims may be a felony offense. In this case, that is what is alleged. Now, we have Kimberly Howard standing by live in New York City. That is where in Manhattan today, the state attorney general and the controller answered questions about how this whole thing unfolded. So she continues our live coverage. I know you spoke with both the controller and the AG today, right, Kimberly? I did, Greg. You know, I'm just outside the attorney general's office in New York City right now, and both he and the comptroller told me that he couldn't get into specifics as far as the investigation because it's still considered an open case. But he did credit this high profile arrest to teamwork. You know, a lot of the questions about Scarborough's travel expenses came after former Assemblyman William Boylan's conviction for similar crimes back in March. That's about the same time the FBI raided Scarborough's offices in Albany and New York, as well as his home and the hotel he stayed at in Albany. Today, Schneiderman and the two said the two separate indictments were made possible by his close relationship with the Comptroller's office as well as with the FBI and the U.S. Attorney for New York's Northern District. You know, Comptroller Dinapoli says this is all about following the money. We asked him if the rules of the per diem and travel voucher system should be tightened or at least clarified to prevent further corruption or misunderstandings. Here's what he had to say. You know, I don't think this is a case of misunderstanding. I, I think you, you could always look at rules and try to make them tighter. If someone wants to steal, they're going to figure out a way to steal. Our job is to make sure if someone is stealing that we're on top of it, they're going to be held accountable. If convicted, Scarborough could face 37 years behind bars. He's one of several uh, lawmakers that's going to be on the ballot in November who is under indictment. And that election, of course, is coming up in just a month. We're live in New York City. Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.